A lot of people uh, got sick here. A lot of people probably did die here. Definitely a lot of people suffered here. And this was used as a form of punishment. It is a little bit wild outside. So I'm just about to head in alone. <laughs> I actually can't see anything. I'm not afraid of you. I know some of you did things that were unforgivable and terrible. Can you step into the cell with us, please? Film behind you. Keepers, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight we are going to be investigating the historic and supposedly haunted coal mines here in Tasmania, right near Port Arthur. And this spot is supposed to be very, very creepy in the dark. And of course, we're going to be doing a paranormal investigation, so stay tuned. Welcome to the first operational coal mines in Tasmania, Australia, a place that dates back to the 1830s and was used as a punishment for the worst of the worst convicts from the notorious Port Arthur Penitentiary. Life here was tough with poor living conditions, hard mining labor, and torturous disciplinary actions endured by many. Perhaps the worst area of the mines were the underground solitary confinement cells used heavily as a form of punishment. The coal mines were eventually closed in 1848 due to financial and moral concerns. Though the cells now sit empty and abandoned, some say the lingering spirits of past convicts still remain. Tonight, we will attempt to find out if this historic site is truly haunted. All right, Crypt Keepers, we are actually just on our way to some coal mines, very historic place here in Tasmania, Australia. And I think you guys are gonna find it very, very interesting. I did just wanna take you guys there first in the day before we come back to investigate at night. And I think this is gonna be a really scary investigation. All right, guys, so I'm just bringing you into one of the more interesting places within the coal mines here. And this is actually one of the barracks where they kept all the convicts. So what's interesting about this place is it dates back to the 1830s and it was actually used as a punishment for the worst of the worst coming from the main convict penitentiary down this way in Tasmania, which is Port Arthur. So the worst type of people were sent here for punishment and that was because the conditions here were just so brutal. They were doing hard, back-breaking work. They were doing this labor, which was coal mining. They're underground most of the day for hours and hours and hours. And then they would come up here to their very meager accommodation in these cells. And this place kind of started out pretty small in, in the early 1830s. There was only a, a couple of hundred uh, prisoners here, but by the 40s, it kind of boomed and there was up to 600 men who were held here at the coal mines. And mostly they lived, you know, in these cells. There was also some very harsh punishments such as floggings and the solitary confinement cells, which I'll show you after and are actually underground. So they're quite scary and they would not have been a nice place to stay. But this is gonna be a very interesting investigation. Obviously we're gonna come back at night time and try and reach out and see if there are any souls that are kind of trapped here or there is any negative energy from the past as you'd expect to remain in a place as dark as this. Guys, this place is so historic and the ruins, they are beautiful, but they are very very ruined they're not in great condition some of the site is a lot better preserved probably because of what it was built from but just behind me these are, are actually cottages lined up and they're just completely wrecked totally crumbling and there's only a couple of walls structures left of them and you can kind of see the foundations where they were built up from but really they are so wiped out all right guys i'm just about to take you into one of the darkest and probably the scariest, most haunted areas of the coal mines, which is just behind me, the solitary confinement area. All right, guys, what we are looking at now, this hallway down here is just lined with solitary confinement cells. And these date back to 1843. So they're quite old. You can just imagine how how bad it must have been to be put down here. These are underground. They're so filled with insects. They're cold, they're dark, they're dank. They're not such a pleasant place to be. I'll show you just this first one in here. 
they're tiny as well. And this was used as a form of punishment. So obviously this is a place that you'd expect a lot of paranormal energy to be contained. So I'm definitely looking forward to coming back to this area in the dead of night and investigating, though I know it's gonna be very, very scary. Guys, this place, this is so interesting. This is a really cool piece of Aussie history and I'm so keen to come back tonight because I know it's gonna be really scary. So I think that this is a really great place to conduct a paranormal investigation. So stay tuned, we'll be back here in the dark shortly. All right guys, we have just made it back to the coal mines. It is a little bit wild outside. It is very, very cold, very, very windy. And there is a chance it could piss down with rain tonight, but we are back and we are definitely gonna take a chance and go out there because this is a place I really, really want to investigate. And I'm a little bit scared. I think I'm just getting unnerved just because how creepy it is out here, but I'm ready to go. Alright guys, so we've just left the safety of the car and we're on our way to the coal mines, a historic ruin. I'm very, very excited. This place is supposed to be quite active and haunted, but things are already looking creepy down, <laughs> down this narrow path with all the bushes either side of us and we just, we don't know what's out here. There could be animals or, or I guess even crazed people, I don't know. I'm not too worried about people tonight though because it seems quite remote where we are, but it's still unnerving coming down here. I've, I do have my tripod open as a weapon though. <laughs> Keepers, I'm so excited because we have just made it in to the coal mines ruin. We're actually standing inside ugh, Inside the barracks and this is essentially a bunch of cells where convicts would have been kept while they were working in the coal mines Very dirty very hard labor very hard work a lot of people uh, got sick here a lot of people probably did die here and uh, definitely a lot of people suffered here this was known as like the worst of the worst punishment for people at the convict penitentiary of port arthur they would get shipped here uh, moved up here and they really did not like it it was the worst place that you could be so understandably we have to come here and conduct a paranormal investigation and i think i'm just going to pick a couple of cells to center our investigation on and reach out and see if there really is any paranormal energy still trapped here maybe there are some spirits here that would like to talk to us i have heard that this is quite a haunted location so i'm looking forward to getting this investigation started all right guys i've just positioned myself at the very back of the old barracks this is just a row of cells basically and I'm going to use these cells because they're actually quite sheltered this one uh, in particular this one is missing most of its roof so <laughs> I guess that that is okay but um, it is sheltered in here though it's kind of wild wherever outside now I've put uh, two light up balls one in here and one in here and they're just like sensors that if they are moved, they will light up. We call them cat balls. Yeah, if they light up, there shouldn't be any reason to unless they're physically moved. So I'm just going to reach out to the spirits and then I'm going to conduct a spirit box session. If you don't know what this is, it sweeps through radio stations fast. And some people believe that if voices come through over the top of those sweeps, it could be spirits trying to communicate with us. Hi, my name is Amy and I've traveled here to the coal mines here in Tasmania with Sonia and we would love to know if there is anybody still here in the coal mines. We're not here to hurt you, we come in uh, peace, we just would love to talk, we would love to communicate with you. There are a few ways that you can let us know that you are here. In the two cells at uh, the end of this hallway I've placed two clear plastic balls if you go close to them and you touch them, if you move them, they will light up and we'll know that you are, are in a cell and that you're with us and that you want to talk to us. So if you do want us to know you're here and you would like to talk, please touch one of those balls. <laughs> 
I'm also going to run a device that can be a little bit loud, but it might be something that you can come close to me and actually use this to talk to me. I'm calling out to any of the men that worked here at the coal mines, that were imprisoned at the coal mines. I would love to talk to you. If you can come forward and say hello, tell me your name, or any information about yourself, I would greatly appreciate that. Am I welcome here? If I am, can you please let me know? Can you tell me a little bit about the coal mines, what it was like here? So this is what a typical cell would look like here, guys. Um, there's not a lot of room. I'll tell you, it would have been pretty terrible living, pretty cold here. Tasmania isn't the warmest place in Australia. If, if you don't know where Tasmania is, it's that little chipped away island bit at the, pit, at the bottom of Australia. Is there somebody in this cell with me? Was this where you slept? I know it must have been real hard yakka working out here at the coal mines. Can you tell me what it was like? How many people were kept here? Can you step into the cell with us, please? Can you just film behind you? Just film behind you. Jesus, that's a big mother. I've got this big LED light in my eyes and I just thought I sent something out there. I don't think it's anything because this light is right in my eyes. And I think that since we're not really getting much on here, we might tone it down and turn the light off and go night vision because sometimes I wonder if the light could scare the spirits away, you know? Maybe they don't like it as much as sometimes it's irritating for me. Thank you. All right guys, so I'm just gonna give you a tour of these barracks, like point of view style with the night vision. Um, there's not heaps to see. There's a lot of cells here. So they all look very similar. So very much like this. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of them down here. Now I've got to be careful where I step because there are just rocks and debris scattered everywhere, you know. Now this is my gear. Okay, I actually can't see anything except what's on my camera screen. Alright, so this would have been just really bleak living. Really bleak. If there are any spirits here, I do feel for you staying here at the coal mines. I know that not all of you committed terrible crimes to be sent here to Australia. I know that a lot of you were just trying to survive over in Britain, in England. 
and you were sent here for stealing things like shoes or food just to keep your family alive. I know some of you did things that were unforgivable and terrible, but I know that there was a lot of you who didn't. I would like to talk to anyone that is here. Please, if you come close to me, feel free to say something really loud to me. Maybe I can hear what you're saying. I'd love to know your name. I'm also going to look up, guys. That is the night sky through there. There's quite a lot of stars out, but you won't be able to see them. So actually above me was a school and uh, a church, I believe it was. So if we go even further back, oh my gosh, I'm going to break my neck in here. This last cell here. Get low, that has no roof. I think we'll just keep reaching out and see if anything happens, yeah. Guys, we just realized there are so many ants out here and they're crazy ants that will bite you and hurt you real bad. Like, look down here, look at them all. I actually feel bad because I think we've trod on some. I couldn't see them in the dark. They're all on the walls and stuff. That probably means rain is coming. Talk to me. All right, guys, I just hit record just then on a ghost tube session. It's already said talk to me, which is cool. Also, I just want to make a note that the magnetic reader is quite high in here. Um, it doesn't normally fluctuate this high. Uh, that's the yellow slash green bar that you guys are seeing on the bottom of your screen right now. Phones can actually measure electromagnetic um, changes in the atmosphere around it, and that's what my phone is doing now. People believe that spirits uh, can actually manipulate that. So I'm just going to walk around. If there is someone in here, I really would love to talk to you. If you come close to the lights in my hands, then we may be able to see that you're here with us. M maybe you can use this device to talk to me even. So this is one of the cells without a roof um, and the church and the school were right above this which is strange to think that the cells were down here underground. Did somebody live here? Is there anyone still here? some noises around me. I think the noise that I can hear is an old tree like creaking though. If there is anyone here that wants to talk there is a clear ball on the floor. If you touch that it will light up and we'll be able to know that you're here. You can also come close to the lights in my hands. If you come close enough, it'll trigger a small alarm. Dead. Dead. Did you die here? If you did, I'm sorry. I know that there were quite a few men to die here. Vengeful. 
vengeful. What happened to to you here that makes you angry and vengeful? Were you unfairly put here? Blue. Blue. Hey, witch. You, witch. I got called a witch in the Hobart Convict Penitentiary. Yeah, you did. Or maybe it was you. <laughs> no, I was talking about you. Maybe that's a common, like, do you not like me? Hang on, let me get it out. Well, you, you can't see anything because it's... No, I can't. Well... <laughs> We're in complete darkness, guys, okay. so... Oh, Jesus. You right, Mum? I don't know where the step is. Yep. Alright, I've just left your cell because you didn't seem to like me. You called me a witch. If there's anybody else in any of these other cells that wants to talk to somebody... That beep was just a fluctuation in the magnetic environment. It just alerted me there was a spike. If there is anyone that wants to talk, come out of your cell. There's no doors. You can actually leave your cell now. You're not stuck in them anymore. You can leave. Can you touch one of us? Can you say something really loud to me? Can you make a noise? Can you tap on something? I want to stop this session now. So we did seem to get a few words in that back cell, but I must admit the magnetic reader was quite high. I don't know what is in this area that could affect that. I don't even know if there is anything here. Normally it's like electrical stuff, but obviously this is an old room. There was no electricity back then when this place w was used. There shouldn't be anything that would interfere with this here. I do want to head over. There are a lot more cells here. There's another section of the barracks just like this one that is still accessible. So I want to go over there and see if um, there are any spirits possibly lingering there too. All right guys, so I'm just about to head in here alone. <laughs> and I'm going to take my thermal camera and just have a look around and see if there's anything weird. This is a different side to the barracks, so I don't know. Let's go head in. All right, so. Okay, just now I've started recording on the thermal camera. I'm stepping in. I can see that the floor in front of me is cold, which seems odd because it's like one patch of floor. And then obviously the the roof up here, that uh, window that we're looking through, that doorway. I think that's the old church. That is cold. It's quite a cold night, so. But this is just the other side of the barracks, guys. So again, we have a whole bunch of cells. And I'll tell you what, it seems warmer in the cells than anywhere else. So it's about, so it's like, I don't know, 17 out here. And then in the cells, this one may be different. Yeah, this one has no roof, but this one seems to have a roof. And that's about 20 degrees Celsius. So it's about four degrees warmer than just out here, kind of in the open air. But let's just look in each cell. If there is anybody here and you would like to communicate with me, please make a noise. Can you say something? Maybe you can show yourself to me in one of these cells.
okay we just lost focus back here for a sec but I know some people think that that could be paranormal but I have to admit if my camera doesn't have enough light or pick up the light enough then it will go out of focus for a, a split second can you come close to me I'm not afraid of you I'm not sure what it is that you did or why you've been put in here but I'm not afraid of you let's go into one okay focus 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 a lot of cobwebs and stuff around guys it's a bit freaky let's see if this hole I can't really see anything coming from this hole. Maybe it's a bit colder. Is there anyone there? Can you walk into this cell? Is there anyone in here? Can you walk into this cell? I don't like it down there. Whoa, look at them all. Oh, eyes. Oh, I've got eyes. Damn, this place is scary. So I'm going to go lights out as well. I think I just heard he stabbed. There's something out there. Scratch. Don't come in. Oh god. I think that means we need to go in. We are underground as well. Pitch black darkness. If there's someone around me, can you come back towards my hand? Thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. I always appreciate that. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see a bit more of the coal mines, in particular the solitary confinement cells, which I know are very, very scary, then make sure you are subscribed and you have your notification bell turned on because I have a part two to this video coming up very, very soon. If you did enjoy this video though, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. That'll really helps me out. If you want to do a bit more reading on the coal mines or other haunted places that I visited from around the world, then head to my website, Amy's crypt.com you guys can also follow what i'm doing at amy's crypt on facebook twitter and instagram thanks for watching crypt keepers until next time